Let's look on another option inside the Vue 11, and it's to create a text. This has come from very early versions, and it's kind of very useful when you create a logos, text, or other options. So let's click. You will notice it's open a text editor. Let's look on the screen what we have on the top. Right here, we have it render previews. We have different previews options. You notice we have a triangle, so it's mean if we right click, we have a different type options. We have it undo, redo, zoom in. We have it also point of view reset, rotation, reset rotation, reset bound, and also precisions increase or decreasing. By increasing precisions, we'll increase quite a bit on the polygon. So if you kind of conservatives on resource you're using, you don't want to do this or even decreasing. But if you're going for smoothness and quality, maybe with higher bevel, you probably want to increase. You also, in all views, um, can rotate on the image inside the preview windows. Just by right click with your mouse and rotate, you can notice this. If you hold down shift button and right click, you can pan. If you hold down control key, right click, you can zoom in and out. This is actually will work in most this preview windows in a Wu environment. So let's look a little bit below. We have it several tabs, text, bevel, extrusion, and materials. So let's look first in the text right here. We can type um, any text we wanted. Also below, we can set approximate units. Currently, it's in meters. Horizontal spacing between letters, vertical. Also, we can select a different type of font style from your true type or lo load it as that. Also, we can import vector graphics. And that is kind of important if you're using um, like a logos maybe. But again, when you import, it will take from the Illustrator 3.2 versions, kind of a little bit older one support. So be sure when you save it, you save in right vector graphics. Okay, so right here, we created some text. Let's go to the bevel. And you notice we can enable bevel on ours. It's already, let's check, and it's come with predefined. As well, we can modify some effects. So we said round, increase width and depth. And you can see right here we have a very nice bevel applied, create a bit nice looking text. Let's go to extrusion. As well, we can apply specific extrusion if you like it to your text. Okay. And next we can work on materials. And one thing look on materials that we have it our front, we have an extrusion, and we have a front bevel. As well, we can enable the back bevel. So this is just by double time clicking, you can open material editor as usual to work with this, or you can preload it by clicking and it will go directly to materials. So you can load it as materials, which one you like it. You can also, as almost all materials editors in view, right here menu, it's very standard, you can modify scale you can also um, edit and uh, one thing right here you can see the rare same as font so we can modify it so you can enable and create a little bit different just for the rare as well same for the extrusion internal you can select and add more as well for the exterior so it's quite a bit um, options you can have here when you create with text when we're done, let's create OK. And text is created. One thing, look on the text. So we have all letters. We can modify it. So we can click Edit Object, and we can go back to modify all text together. Okay. As well, we can go and modify it just the object itself. Again, when we look a little bit more on object, you can see on this polygon, on the mesh options, which is very standard for the view for the separate objects. Again, the view trade treat this as a object select boolean. And again, if you want to modify text, you can go just on the group above. In this case, you can modify all text.